What is particles? I will try to explain its features in short videos building different ideas. The default menu, we have different controls to look at. You can see the numbers on the segment display. This will show the maximum repetitions you can have per channel. In the default menu, we can mute or unmute our trigger outputs too. Let's unmute them. The sliders works together with encoder plus CV input. The sliders will limit the amount of repetitions per channel and the encoder or CV input will set the maximum global amount of repetitions. If I set channel 2 to 16 repetitions and channel 3 to 48 repetitions, when playing with encoder or send CV, they won't deliver more than the value adjusted with the sliders. You can toggle with this button triplets on and off. When triplets are toggled off, you can see the numbers are dimmed. This means those repetitions are disabled. Pressing the encoder will take us to the distribution menu. This will set our time window for the repetitions to happen. C16 means the repetition selected will happen in 16 clocks. When playing with the sliders and adjusting the time window, you can find different rhythmic ideas to play with. Let's do the same with the channel 4, which is playing this AM sound. Now I will go to Absorb menu by pressing Function button plus button 4. In this menu, we can remove some repetitions by probability per channel. If I adjust the slider, you can see the button starts blinking. If we set the slider to max, then we have 100% of probability. I will set the snare around 75 and the AM sound a bit lower. This will give us some movement and dynamic in our variations. The next control we are looking at is shift inputs. We can manually or with CV shift the channel's input to the next output. This way we can find more rhythmic patterns to work with. We are working with different patterns but keeping on each channel the features values adjusted. We can shift one or two or three times the inputs. Also, we can use clock to sequence in forward mode or random, but I will explain this in other video with different reset options too. Now I will bring my sequence from the other particles and I will set more or less the same adjustments. And finally, I will send CV to shift input from both particles to have the same variations happening at the same time. I will jam a bit on this patch. <laughs> 